Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And we just got some information from PushSquare.com that shows proof of concept that a patent is being made for the PlayStation 5 to be fully backwards compatible with every single PlayStation console that has ever been created. Smash JT. For those people who are not necessarily in the know with how emulation works and the tricks behind the scenes, the PlayStation brand has had its share of issues in the past being able to emulate certain consoles, certain games on specific consoles. More specifically, the PlayStation 3 was one of the most challenging because of the chipset on there. It was really hard to have it emulate on a next-gen system because it basically required the entire hardware of the PlayStation 3 to be on the PlayStation 4. So Sony's approaching the next-gen PlayStation 5 with backwards compatibility in mind and trying to find ways around that so that it's able to do backwards compatibility without the hurdles that it's run into in the past. And this patent that's been uncovered by PushSquare.com is certainly showing that they're looking in that direction. The patent itself was authored by Mark Kearney, the same guy who designed the PlayStation 4. And according to this patent, it will allow the PlayStation 5 to run all previous PlayStation software, in theory covering the PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and 4 games. Take this all with a grain of salt because a patent is just that. It's not necessarily a reality, it just means that they're looking towards putting something together that could in fact work the way that it's drawn up in the design. As far as the future of the PlayStation 5 brand, very little is known about it at this time. Yes, dev kits supposedly have been sent out to specific AAA developers, but the hardware itself we don't know what it's going to look like, we don't know what they plan on doing with it, if it's going to be all digital, if it's going to have some hardware involved to actually play cartridges or discs. A lot is up in the air with it. But as far as PlayStation's direction, clearly backwards compatibility is a major focus for it. And that's actually a really good thing because I was starting to wonder what direction they would go with the next generation of consoles. How much better can graphics get? What can they do next? All these questions that developers are always asking themselves to make games better, make them more immersive. But if you've played a PlayStation 4 Pro game or Xbox One X game on a 4K resolution and the game is made for that resolution, it's pretty immersive. In fact, it's one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had in my life while playing a video game as far as graphics are concerned. So I'm wondering what the next step is and how good they can make the next gen of consoles games. But in the meantime, it's really nice to know that they're thinking about backwards compatibility and making this machine the ultimate PlayStation console. Emulation can be a very tricky process and specifically when you're trying to make these games work on a different console, you need to basically make it think that it's playing it on the original console it was made for. Because of piracy, because of all the checks and balances that the systems had, it's very challenging for next-gen games to get emulated properly. The idea that they're going to be backwards compatible with the PlayStation 5 is an extremely exciting prospect. But like I said at the beginning, take this all with a grain of salt because as of right now, it's just a patent. It doesn't necessarily mean it's happening. It doesn't mean it's true. It doesn't mean it's factual. It just means they're looking into it and it's an idea that they've been rolling around and trying to make it work. And that in itself is extremely exciting. But let me know what you guys think about this. Are you excited that the PlayStation 5 could be backwards compatible with every single PlayStation branded console game ever made? This is something that could resolve the issue of how bad the PlayStation 1 Classic was. This thing. Still busted up. It's a good video, by the way. Nobody even watched that. What a waste of $100. Anyways, this is very exciting for people who want to play retro gaming and not have to worry about all the terrible decisions Sony made with the PlayStation 1 Classic. As far as the future of the PlayStation 5 brand, it's clearly got a lot going for it. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, you stay smashing.